go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. How to end the endless Biafra war. How to end the endless Biafra war. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. It is 52 long years since the much bellyhood end of the Nigerian Biafra war. Yet nobody from the losing hand of the war has served as the president of the country. The matter gets even more ridiculous when it is remembered that the war ended on a note of no victor, no vanquished, as announced by Nigerian stand leader General Yakubu Gowan. All right thinking people all over the world who are interested in justice and equity are deeply embarrassed by this Nigerian reality. It is 52 long years since the March Bellyhood end of the Nigeria B. Afra war. Yet, nobody from the losing hand of the war has served as the president of the country. The matter gets even more ridiculous when it is remembered that the war ended on a note of no victor, no vanquished, as announced by Nigerian stand leader, General Yakubu Gohan. All right thinking people all over the world who are interested in justice and equity are deeply embarrassed by the Nigerian reality. It is 52 long years since the March Bellyhood end of the Nigerian B. Afra war. Yet nobody from the losing hand of the war has served as the president of the country. The matter gets even more ridiculous when it is remembered that the war ended on a note of no victor, no vanquished as announced by Nigerian stand leader, General Yakubu Gowon. All right, thinking people all over the world who are interested in justice and equity are deeply embarrassed by the Nigerian reality. So my dear listeners from wherever you are listening from, now we've come to the end of all today's news. And indeed, we all know how it feels when you're really fighting for a particular thing and you're not getting it. As it is stated here, it says it is 52 long years since the March Bellywood end of the Nigerian Biafra war, yet nobody from the losing hand of the war has served as the president of the country. And the most ridiculous word here says, it, it, is, it gets ridiculous when it is remembered that the war ended on a note of no victor, no vanquished. That is the point. There is no point in fighting for a particular thing that you actually wanted a, a, a something and you're not getting it. It's kind of painful, like wasteful of resources, wasteful of time, wist, wasteful of everything. What would you think of yourself? If you are the one trying striving 
fighting to get a particular thing and it's not working out. It's not possible. But I just feel what the government should do. It is for them to sit down with these people, dialogue with them. See, there is nothing communication cannot do. At least, once you give a room for a communication, then a solution would definitely come out. These people wanted, they, they, they are fighting for their right, and this right they are fighting for is indeed real. Because they know what they are doing. They are only being punished for 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 just for just because these people have power. That's the reason why. That's the reason why they are. That's the reason why they are punishing them and and don't. I don't think that is the best thing for the government to do. These people actually they are human as well. Dialogue with them, sit with them. Let's find. Um, what the solution is all about and here I have um, three comments here a first comment which I have says Western media totally blacklist event in the southeast or mixed chest of it Such secret agenda methods do not bring peace conversations to the society The West might be the major problem in this regard Another comment here says, it is good to put record straight. It helps to heal wounds and promote togetherness. Was Zeke actually commander-in-chief of Nigerian Armed Forces? Does Imo State actually generate revenue more than all northern states put together? And the last comment here says, the only way... Here is referendum. Yeah, that's the only way I think this thing can be solved. They should dialogue with these people. By then things would be things would solve itself out and I won't I don't think there will be a more problem if um, a, a dialogue has been considered. So I don't think that there, there can be anything that can hinder them any longer. So to my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned and do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.